Okay, folks, what I want to talk about right now is GFIs and one of the most common defects and observations that I found. I just want to clarify some problems. First of all, the typical GFI receptacle, you have a line side. So I want you to look at that real close. Line side is the power coming in from the power source, usually the electrical panel box. The load side is, is the load going out to the other devices, okay? Line, load, load's at the bottom. I'm, I'm sorry you can't read that. Now what that means is you'll have line side coming in from the electrical box and your load side going out to your receptacles downstream, such as this one and this one. Okay, when they're wired properly, the GFI itself will trip out the device. Okay, so what I want to talk about is some of the problems that I have incurred. Uh, be honest with you, a lot of times, half the time when new houses are wired or new additions are put on, the devices are never wired correctly to start with. I recommend all homeowners, all electricians, all home inspectors go out and buy themselves this device. It's a little ideal trip mechanism. You can buy it at Lowe's or any hardware store. And in most places, they're like five bucks, the best money you can spend. So the first problem is half the time they're never wired correctly. That's why you should always go around and test each and every one of them in the bathrooms, outside, garages, any, any place outside above six feet. That's just some obvious places to check. Uh, the other place is if they keep tripping out, you've got moisture issues. If they're outside particularly, you can, you're, you're subject to a little bit of dampness. And that is tripping out automatically because that's a safe, that's what we call a safe detect. Okay? So just reset it. And if it doesn't reset and it won't reset, that means the receptacle has two things wrong with it. Either there's no power going to it or... The receptacle itself is bad. It's got corrosion into it, okay? All right, the third one is the most dangerous one, okay? That one's the one that the manufacturer, you, you need to check each one of these every month. Every month you need to go around and test all your D GFIs. And what happens, they won't trip. The parts are exposed to moisture and they corrode. They're miswired and they fail the trip. That's why it's important for you as homeowners get a GFI tester. The two lights that you see here, by the way, are the telling you this wired correctly. See here, see that? Correct wiring. Okay. The fourth way is using an insulation defect. And as soon as it trips on, as soon as you turn it on, the GFI trips. That means there's no load. That means the neutral wires are crossed between the line and load side. You just need to check and make sure you get your wiring straight. Sometimes when you go around and you, you use an MC cable or you use long screws or you've stapled into your wire too much, sometimes there's just enough of leakage to call the, cause the GFI to trip. So you got to be real careful anytime you're using a GFI circuit to make sure you don't overdo it. And the most interesting one is just I've had a couple of calls in the last week or so about was shared neutrals with GFIs. What happens is sometimes these guys will go in and they'll need to add a GFI circuit. They don't have a what we call a clean neutral from a line side source coming from the panel box. So they'll share a neutral with a lighting circuit, another receptacle circuit, and that usually causes problems and the GFI will trip out, it won't reset. It, the minute you turn it on, it'll trip out. That's usually the problem is shared neutrals. So always try to isolate your neutrals as quickly as possible. Don't use multi-branch circuits, okay? One thing I recommend in the bathrooms and in the kitchens and some areas, especially in older homes, is actually put GFIs individually. That way you know you've got a clean circuit and it'll work. So 
just try that. If you ever have a problem, just, just actually wire net everything together and tie everything to the line side of your receptacle. Always make sure you pigtail your, your grounds and, and your neutrals and your hots the correct way. We'll talk about that later. That's just some little scenarios to check, to check for. If you have any questions, just give me a call. Jones Air Conditioning and Electrical, 239-596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com. And if you like this, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.